Should I buy a Tesla? It's up to you. So basically all I'm asking is, um, what's, how's my uh, YouTube channel doing at the moment? 167 subs. Um, now, <clears throat> can I get a thousand subs? Just to clarify this for me, because at the moment I've been looking at the used um, Tesla market, and uh, yeah, there's been one here I've been looking at for a while. It looks like it's a 2015 model with uh, some of the first stage uh, autopilot hardware. The only problem with that one is it's got um, it's got <clears throat> material seats. But um, the, what, what I was wanting to get onto before we actually look at these cars is uh, I would be getting this as a business thing. I would be using it as a taxi and I'd be using it for vlogging. So the whole idea is to make money off the taxis but also at the same time use the money for the vlogging as well. Because if I, I basically I've seen a few people on YouTube, here's a couple of prime examples. Um, of course he's, most people out there will know about Bjorn Nyland. He's a guy who bought a Model S way back a uh, few years ago. I'll just go back, I don't know how long ago his uh, first video when he took delivery of his Model S's because he's done that many videos on, on, on it. I mean, you can see I'm going through his channel here just trying to find his earliest video. And this is going back months, months, months. Uh, but this guy bought a Model S and he started um, basically doing documentaries for YouTube of him driving it around Norway and testing out the... the uh, you know the first few superchargers that were installed and doing these like uh, what he called um, Nimba tasks where he's d delivering things and that and he was making a bit of money at that but he then he started making that money off YouTube because of what he was doing and uh, he got followers on YouTube and uh, because he got those followers those people he, there was a promotion about a year ago where about a year ago anyway but uh, the uh, Tesla did this promotion where for anyone who's already bought a Tesla can give people this link to give them money off a Tesla and the people who got the more sales through using their link would then be rewarded with a new Model X uh, Founders Edition um, and he won the one for Europe because of his YouTube channel and so what's happened with him is he sold his Tesla Model S now he originally started, he's got the new Model X um, and he's made money to put, basically he's been able to afford to buy a house and all sorts of things um, just because he, he took that plunge of buying the Model X S like ages ago but now he's got this lovely Model X and he's got uh, 36,000 subscribers which you know in YouTube terms there's people out there with millions but it's 36,000 subscribers that watch most of his videos from beginning to end so that bounced up to lots of minutes as well um, uh, you've also got this other guy uh, that I've watched quite a bit. Uh, he's, he's from England as well. Um, he's uh, James Cook. And uh, if I just put on a bit of this video for you here. It will go wrong in six years. But I'm definitely not looking for a string of things to go wrong that need fixing because, let me put it this way, I am doing YouTube because I love doing it and I find it very fun and interesting and I love the feedback and the feeling of community that you get from that. It's brilliant. Highly recommend it. However, at the same time, I am doing this instead of getting a part-time job at a cafe or something. You know, I look after Jasper full-time, that's my main... It would be impractical for me to do any job that won't fit between about 9 o'clock in the morning and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So, the solution I came up with was YouTube. We'll see how that goes. It pays the groceries at the moment, at least, with some groceries. of them. For them, but yeah, so, so the you know, is, he's not a mega I'm paying the groceries with YouTube, then I'm not looking to pay like you know hundreds of pounds. Out. So, he's he's making enough to save himself getting a part time job by doing this. Um, he, he um, was a bit nifty, I don't know what his wife works in finance or something, I think, but he was a bit nifty at the beginning. Um, he bought some shares in, in, in Tesla when they were like cheap and. Tesla shares did this like and he made a load of money and then he said oh I'm going to sell those shares and get myself a base Tesla because I think I don't know maybe it's way back when he first started vlogging he was just using he had a leaf or whatever or a Peugeot or something you'll see uh, but this guy he's got he's got be 6,000 subs and uh, you know he's making enough to, just out of vlogging 
does it like a five ten minute daily vlog about used to be live blah 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 but because of that he's making enough he's, be, he's able to do that as his, as his part time job you know just because he took and I think the reason he's got all those subs is people start following him because he bought a Tesla um, now uh, me I'm currently at 167 and my what I would like to see is a thousand plus fifteen to, towards fifteen hundred to convince me that's going to be worth me getting rid of the Dacia and investing in one of these. Now the reason I'm looking at the used pages is this month January it's too late to order a Tesla and get free supercharger access forever. And um, you're going to have to buy an older one, which for me would be a quite an important part of the purchase because of the amount of miles I would be doing. I would need the free access to the charging. So and um, that's why I'm looking at these older ones and I've got this one here that I've still got the eye on but the only problem with this one is with the roll I'll be using it for is the is the non leather seats these are going to get very messy up now I've looked around there are some uh, seat covers and that I suppose I could get I mean I would like the one with autopilot now I've turned the, the audio off on this but this is a demonstration of uh, Tesla's autopilot Let's make it full. Uh, we'll just play it from there. And uh, I don't think the older ones have got the hardware for this, but it's got Benny Hill music on this. So I've had to turn the audio off, otherwise, I'll get a copyright thing on the YouTube. So I've turned the music off. Just means I won't be able to add censored, won't be able to monetize the video. But uh, yeah, so there's the guy who drive. he drives his car. This car drives him all the way to work. And the best bit is, right at the end, after it's driven them all the way to work, somewhere around here, he gets out the car there, goes to work, and then the car goes and parks itself. Now I think this is like um, the latest version of the autopilot hardware, because I think the earlier versions aren't able to do all this, but they can drive you down a, a, a highway, do what's, like, what's called um, autopilot partial driving for you. I would like that. I mean, the main thing I, when I drove that one up from um, <clears throat> London that time for Phoenix, it was it had the base, the first stage sort of pilot hardware, but it wasn't activated. But it had the cruise control and it was using the front radar as adaptive cruise control. And that, to me, is the main thing I would like. The older ones just have standard cruise control, whereas if you've got adaptive cruise control, all you have to do is steer and it monitors the car in front, speeds up, slow down, tell it what speed you'd like to do. It will just keep monitoring the car in front so you get, it's none of this off and on the pedals which kind of tie your legs out after a while especially if you're doing a long day in it <coughs> so um yeah that's basically it I think I don't think I've got anything else to say there oh yeah I was going to have a look at the pre-owned Teslas and there doesn't seem to be very many of them available I think they've all been snapped up they've all been snapped up because everyone knows that you've got to have one of these older ones to get the free charging I still could go for this one, but it's just not got the autopilot hardware. <laughs> and I've got to ask myself, it's going to, probably going to have to be something I'm going to have to sacrifice. But another important thing with this is, the 24 is the it, 4 year 50,000 miles pre-owned limited warranty. And what year is it? It's 2014. So it's already 2017, so that's means it's only got like five years warranty left on the drive train and the uh, battery so because you've got unlimited uh, eight year warranty on them with, with these it's got dual chargers like so I could charge it 22 kilowatts it has got nice black interior it's got a nice blue color a bit warmer in the winter because it hasn't got the roof I like kind of headliner only could have a roof, blue metallic paint, tech package, tech package, yeah, on board, LED, so, yeah, I don't know, I'm tempted by that one, even though it doesn't have the um, adaptive cruise control, but, uh, what else we got, we do have, do we have a 90, no, just a P90s, I'm not going to be spending this amount of money, so yeah, I'm looking around about this sort of um, area, Now, there's one thing, <clears throat> one of the founders 
editions of the uh, Model X have been delivered to the UK P100 one and because it's the only one and I think it's the only Model X you can actually just get in a drive now and put it on there and because it's the founders because there's only so many of them made like tens of them you know 169,000 but have you seen it this is the this is currently my lottery win purchase it's a founders edition model x p100d and the best thing about this one is in the uk right in the world right now there are very very few of these it is a right hand drive one very very few of them not very many right hand drive model x's out there Doesn't it look lovely? Right, so, yep, I'm going to leave it all in your hands. I'm going to say 1,500 subs would be a definite. A 1,000 would maybe start thinking about it a bit more. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm off to, off to Spain next week, so uh, I'll try and do a travel vlog for that for the week after. Anyway, catch you later. Bye.